Right guys, I promised that I would do a video on the crappiest things you can get. I was going to do a top 10, but I thought I'd keep it down to top 5. Uh, otherwise the video becomes a little bit too long. So I thought I'd start with these at number 1. These are the DRLs for the Jaguar XF. And there are two types. You get this type here where you can actually see the individual LEDs. And then you get this type where it's got a sort of fridged look, a uh, sort of frosted look where you can't really see the LEDs. Um, now these things are quite a pain to fit to your car. You've got to take the whole bumper off and you've got to take the, the black cover um, behind the bumper off in order to get these things off. And I think for all the trouble that you've got to go through in order to fit these to your car, plus the fact that they're not bright, they don't really do what they say they're supposed to do um, and at the price that you pay for them $213 for this set and $222 for this type I just think it's a waste of money they try and make them look really really bright in the pictures but I have um, on the Jaguar forums in fact and the jaguarforum.com there are guys who have bought these and fitted these and they've also found that the LEDs are not bright enough and then they buy um, separate LEDs that you can get on eBay and you've got to take these out and replace them with the ones that you get on eBay and the ones you buy on eBay are also pretty close to $100 so all in all you're gonna pay excluding labor you're gonna pay just over $300 in total to get really bright LED DRLs for your car and I frankly don't think it's worth the trouble and I don't think it's worth the money um, qualities. I mean, this guy has even gone through the trouble of showing you a nice head. Oh, he has a picture here. Same color as my car. <laughs> I don't know why they've um, sort of blurred the sign. Weird. But there you can see what they look like fitted to the car and actually you can't even see them. They're not very bright. So, I don't think they're worth the money. I really don't think they're worth the trouble. I certainly wouldn't bother fitting these to my car. Uh, let's just go down on these. And again, they show you an XJ. There's an XF. And they're very clever. They show you these pictures in the dark, but they don't show you how bright they are in the daylight, except for this picture here. And you can actually see that if you didn't know that this car was fitted with DRLs and you just looked at the car, you wouldn't even be able to see that it actually had DRLs. So quite frankly, a waste of time, a waste of money. The next one are these um, edge scratch crash strip protections for, they have the weirdest um, descriptions for things on AliExpress, but these are really for um, protecting the edge of your doors to prevent them from getting scuffed or scraped. Um, like I do with my car when I get in and out of the car in the garage my door tends to hit the garage wall and I've taken measure I've taken measures to um, prohibit that from happening but you can see it it has um, a sort of double-sided tape on the inside you've got to pull the the strip cover off that and then you stick it onto your car but the problem is I put them on my Jag and I found that I, after the first of all, the door wouldn't close properly, and second of all, when I eventually slammed the door, I couldn't really get the door open again. Um, and I almost thought that my door handle had, had broken, or the locking me mechanism had broken on the door. So I don't really recommend this because, especially for Jaguar, um, maybe it works on other cars, but it doesn't work on Jaguar because of the fact that the Jaguar has um, a door seal rubber on the on the rear door uh, on this portion here of the rear door there's a door seal there and the front door seals against that rubber and when you stick this on you're creating a bit of resistance there when the door closes and um, it it feels like it's actually going to cause immense wear on your door handle mechanism as well as the locking mechanism of the door. So cheap, but certainly not effective. And then there's these um, 
carbon fiber style steering wheel uh, gear shift pedal attachments. Now I actually did fit these to my Jag and I, I think this is the steering wheel of an XJ. I, I'm not sure, it looks like an XJ to me. But if you look here, um, here, you'll see that these are very long and they actually touch the the stalk where your windshield wiper um, operations are. So when you go for your wiper or you go for your indicator, it doesn't matter, left or right, you're going to actually hit this thing. And what's going to happen is if you're in drive, your car's going to automatically switch to manual mode or sport mode and your transmission's not going to change up or down until you change your gear shift lever back to D. And this will continue to happen and not only that, with you continuously hitting um, the pedal, it actually comes loose and it falls off because um, I think the surface area is just too large for the, the double-sided tape to actually cover. So these are crappy, they don't work, they get in the way and at $43 it's a waste of money. And then these little bag stickers. Now I did on the top 10 you know good things or great things to buy for your Jaguar there was a cargo net that um, has velcro or, um, that you can actually just stick it to the carpet in your car. This isn't like that. It's a little bit smaller, very small in fact and uh, let's see if we can get a different picture here. This is actually meant for your center console. Now I bought about four of these for my car, stuck them on the center console, came to my car the next morning to find them lying on the floor. They, did, they wouldn't stick because of the contour of the center console and you can see that's really what they're designed to do and I thought well that would be a great place to keep my phone um, and not you know have my phone rolling around and um, rattling inside the, the center console. So I thought this would be a really good idea and, and, and it turned out that the double sided tape on these things is not very strong. And again, I just want to say that the double sided tape on most of the stuff that you buy on AliExpress is generally very good, especially that of dash cams. You know, you stick those things on and they will not come off. But I think the double sided tape on this is too small or too thin, um, or maybe inferior quality, but it just doesn't stick to the car. And you can't stick them on a contoured surface, it has to be a completely flat, flat, flat surface. So just a warning, if you do like these and you want to buy them for your car, they're cheap. Um, but again, they're not very good. And then we have these at number five, the um, scuff, door scuff plates, or door sill plates, lit for the Jaguar XF. Now you'll see it says Jaguar and you get them in red, you get them in blue, you get them in white. And when I first saw this, I thought, wow, um, because my car doesn't have the illuminated uh, dorsals um, like these are. Now these are the genuine ones, and as you can see, it's square, completely square, and it's very wide. And it's designed specifically to fit the dorsal of a Jaguar XF. And you can see, you can stick nothing here on this portion of the car, only on the inside of the car, on the trim. And these things are designed to actually stick onto the metal portion of the car, or the painted portion of the car. And after taking a really, really good look at my car, I realized, no, these are not going to do the trick. So these are junk, they're rubbish and I wouldn't waste um, time or money buying these things. You know, here they've got examples, but this is not a Jaguar. And these are other cars where you can actually um, fit them. But my car and your car has a plate like this that says Jaguar. Mine just don't light up. And uh, I think it was an option on some of the Jags um, or some of the uh, upper level trims. So there are the five top crappiest things you can get on AliExpress for your Jaguar. I highly 
do not recommend these things, um, you know, by your own peril. So thank you for watching.